If you're like me and you're driving around on the weekend, you see a nice old Queenslander or an old shed or a barn, I often think to myself, I wonder if there's an old car or an old motorbike or boat or something that's been stored underneath that house for many, many years. Well, we got a phone call last week from a gentleman and he's done exactly that. He's put a car away for many, many years. We're here now and we're gonna go and meet him. Let's have a look. Knock, knock. Yeah, come in. Clive. Yes, how are you? Good, mate, good, how good are you? Good to see you again. So, we've, yep. uh, we've just popped over. Yep. Um, I was just uh, telling some of the guys at work actually about the house. Yes. And about how it came about. Yep. Um, so maybe you can fill us in on that. So this house was built by your grandparents? Grand grandfather, back in uh, 1912, 13, thereabouts. Mum was six months old when they moved in. She was born in December 14, so I don't know how long it took them to build it. Yeah. But the front fence cost five pound. <laughs> five pound? <laughs> yeah, we should buy a front fence for that today. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it's remained in the family? In the family. Ever since? Ever, ever since, yes. So uh, that's amazing. I bought it from my grandmother, who moved in with one of her daughters. And uh, yeah, it's been here. And you bought that in about 77? 77, I yep. guess, I think, yep. about 70, 77, yep. And back there in the 70s, you got a, you bought a XY GT Falcon. I did, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. And it was an ex-Ford Motor Company car? It was an ex-Ford Motor Company car. Yep. I uh, believe it was a press release car. Okay. It uh, was owned by a gentleman here in Brisbane and he yep. traded it into a car yard. I knew some guys in the car yard, they rang me up, I went down, had a look at it and bought it that Saturday afternoon. So that was way back in 72 or 73? 17, yeah, maybe 72. 72? Yeah. And you parked it up around? I probably parked it up about 70, 78, 79. 78, 79? Because I uh, got a job uh, yep. that gave me a company car. Um, and when you have a company car, you don't drive don't your, use your own. But you always have this plan that one day we'll get out, we'll go for a drive. But company car's always there, ready to go. And so. So you parked it back up around 78, 79. Right. Where did you park it up? Well, I, I, uh, I concreted underneath the house because back then it was only dirt. And uh, I was in the process of building a, a, a newer workshop that was already one under the house. Um, parked it up under there so I could then build a swimming pool. Um, which was about 1980, and uh, yeah. And the car's been sitting there ever the car's since? The car's been sitting there ever since. What an amazing story. I think we should have a little wander down and have a look right. at it. Let's, Let's go. go. I'll follow you. <laughs> yeah. So, Clive, when you said it could be a little bit difficult, Getting, uh, getting the car out. Well, I said it would be hard. You certainly weren't over-exaggerating. No, no. Um, luckily we got a bobcat, and uh, I think I might get a couple of lumberjacks. I think so. And, and uh, uh, a couple uh, of handy blacks for chainsaws. And, and probably even a bulldozer. A bulldo <laughs> bulldozer, you said might bulldoze you and me if we're not careful. <laughs> yeah, so. and, and the back, back home and a bobcat. And yep. Oh, and then, wow. And then, and then under here. There she is, lies. Is the pride and joy. Wow. Cats have found a home. XYGT. Still got the shaker. Still got the original shaker. The Factory it, sunroof. Can I pop this up? Yep, yeah, too right. Open that. Look at this. Tags have never been off it. Tag, no, no. Number. Is it got the now the early XY? This is a 970, so it should have the chassis number stamped into the radiator that side. support. Yep. So it's oh, never, geez, it has too. Look at so this. It's so never, it's never had a bing in the front. Never had a bingle. JG33KB. It's like two four seven one two. So wow. That is amazing. Yeah, it's uh, the original auto light. 
that uh, four barrel. Mate, it's great to see you find these cars parked up because over these GD Falcons especially, when people bought them, when you like when you yeah. bought this one, a lot of guys drove them and smashed them, That's broke right. them off, yep. or they got stolen, or they got modified, they got flared the guards, yep. pulled them apart, repainted them different colours, and like I've discovered GD Falcons and Sheds before XAs that have been there for since the late eighties. Yes. And you know, mid eighties, but never something since the seventies. This is amazing. What mm -hmm. a find. And being a one of one. For X Ford Motor Company. X Ford Motor Company, promotion car, um, owned by Ford. Um, original plates. Yep. Look. Still got the 4V heads on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah they've never been touched. No. Never, never, never had a tappet cover in it. And it's only done 60, what, 64,000 miles? Something like that, 64, yeah. 65,000. Yeah, because being parked up in the 70s, yeah, yeah. you wouldn't have. And the uh, only modification I, I took the the snorkel tube off to uh, get some more air little, in there. A little bit more free horsepower. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think a lot of guys did that back in the day. Yeah. So anyway, Clive, we've got the boys from Grays coming. They're bringing a bobcat, because right. I think we'll need it. Yeah, uh, Plenty of strong blokes. Yes. And we'll get these trees and furniture and everything else out yeah, of the way. Yeah, right. We'll uh, put some wheels on with air in them. Good. And we'll get it out, and we'll get it back to Grays. Grays. So we've had the bobcat here since early hours this morning. They've cleared a nice wide path. So the next mission is to get the car out from underneath the house and try and drag it up the driveway and get it on the truck. 